Hi, this is Buddy Cool of 333 Half Bad Productions. I had to get up this morning and go sell cars. Meanwhile, my colleague slash grandson slash co-producer, Grave Slave alias Dominic, was going to film a Christmas video of his Aunt Melissa taking her five dogs to see the dog Santa. Let's see how that went. So, Dominic... Tell me what happened. All right. So I call her about 11.45 a.m. And I say, oh, when's, when's this dog Santa happening? When does dog Santa take his appointments? And she said, oh, no, they just call. I just called them, and they said that they don't know how long he's staying. He could be leaving any second. We need to go the second I get there. Well, yeah, he's Santa. Yeah, he's Santa. You got to get it while you can. Anyway, she gets here comes in the door immediately it's a dog frenzy oh pup pup oh screaming for the dogs we gotta round up all these dogs as quick as we can five dogs five of them five little chihuahuas screaming and howling and running back and forth they route she rounds up two of them I grab one Bianca grabs two and round them all up there's a frantic search for leashes so we can contain these dogs on the journey and anyway we take them outside we let them go to the bathroom and we load them up into the truck now just a moment dog santa was at rural king which is a hillbilly farm supply store in southern indiana that sells dried pig ears i once saw an amish guy with no nose lost in a farming accident in there buying pig ears. This is a strange place. So what happened when you got to Rural King? Okay, so we get to Rural King. No, the whole time that we're in transit to Rural King. Louder. Yeah, louder. The dogs, the dogs are trying to get out of the window. There's the four, four wide, four deep, paws out the window, trying to climb out, trying to escape, running back and forth, hopping, barking at people out the window. And we get there, and they, Melissa can't get out of the car because the dogs will escape. And Bianca, Louder. Bianca has to help her round up the dogs and get them out of the car. And I get the old dog because the old dog seems to be the most calm. And they grab the rest of the dogs, and we go up. They're barking and barking and barking at everybody that they see. And anyway. We get up to the door, and I have the older dog, I have the old man, and I set him down, and they're ahead of me, and they're getting through the crowd, and the dogs are barking at everybody, and I make it about ten paces into the store, and the old dog squats down and starts taking a shit. <laughs> everybody in the store, there's maybe three, four employees, five or six people, oh, hey, hey, hey! yelling, telling me to make him stop. And he, he shits on the floor and I pick him up and I take him outside and I'm about to sit him down and projectile diarrhea is into the palm of my hand all over himself, all over his back end. I sit him down and I'm all pissed off. I, I wipe my hand on a Christmas tree that's going to be in someone's living room for Christmas with this streak of dog nectar on it. And, oh, oh man. Did you get any video? I got a video of just the beginning, entering, and everyone yelling at me as the dog takes the shit. And I call Melissa, and I tell her what happened, and I tell her that the dogs, that I can't bring this dog in, that he has shit all over his ass, and he can't sit in Santa's lap, because Santa doesn't want shit all over his nice red pants. Anyway, everybody's walking by as I'm waiting for him outside. Oh, what a cute dog, I'm trying to pet the dog. No, no, back up. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to touch this dog. He's, he's not fit for play right now. And I, anyway, they had a mission success. It took them about five minutes to position the four, not the five, because the fifth was with me covered in shit. And they, they get a, a gawking crowd as the dogs are barking. Everyone's crowded around. Finally, they get the shot. There's applause. Everyone claps. And they leave. The dogs are all... As they come out, I hear barking. I knew that they were coming. I look, and Bianca's pushing a shopping cart with the four dogs inside, and they're all trying to escape. It's like, whack-a-mole, she's keeping them in this cart. And anyway, 
we get back to the car and load them all up. And I get in the car and say, I don't care. That dog's not sitting in my lap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're out. <laughs> Oh, you fucker. God.